I'm Brian Cross with CyberArk, a leader in the identity management space. I'll be talking today about our great integration with a longtime partner of ours, Rapid7. As our title suggests, I'll be referring to the concepts that you can't secure what you don't know exists. Before we dive in, I'd like to give a high-level overview of CyberArk and Rapid7. As I mentioned, CyberArk is in the privilege management space, while Rapid7 is in the application security testing space. As you can see on these Gartner reports, both companies are market leaders and we have a tight-knit partnership I'd like to discuss. Rapid7 maintains multiple Intel sources to provide a global view of the threat landscape for a security advantage powered by threat intelligence. The central theme being you can't secure what you don't know exists is the basis of the Rapid7 CyberArk integration. Multiple Intel feedback streams into Rapid7's detections, continuously improving processes, and shares discoveries across security platforms to better understand your IT environment. Rapid7's threat intelligent infrastructure includes research and intelligence sharing to ensure their detection capabilities are continually improving. Reflecting on what's happening across the security landscape, this information is useful in a few different ways. Customers are an essential source of Intel along with the Cyber Threat Alliance, or CTA. The CTA is a community of security research organizations. They work to improve cybersecurity cooperation and strengthen defenses against adversaries. Metasploit is the world's most used penetration testing software. It uncovers weaknesses and defenses using 3,000 plus exploits across 200,000 active contributors. Two newer projects Rapid7 is working on are particularly cool. Project Heisenberg is a collection of honeypots distributed across the globe to enhance the understanding of attack methods. While Project Sonar conducts internet-wide scans across different services and protocols to gain insight into global exposure to common vulnerabilities. These capabilities are rounded out with teams of threat hunters and published vulnerability disclosures. For the past several years, Rapid7 has been working hard at building out the Insight platform, providing visibility through unified data collection, analytics, and automation for all of their products and services. Today, we'll focus on Insight VM for vulnerability management to manage risk by assessing and identifying vulnerabilities. I'll also touch on the Insight IDR, a cloud-based SIM. Additionally, Rapid7 offers Insight AppSec for dynamic application security testing, Insight Connect for security orchestration, automation, and response, along with consulting services to top off the Rapid7 portfolio. Today, we're talking about assessing, detecting, and responding. Insight VM is used to scan and discover vulnerabilities in real time allowing your SOC or Security Operations Center to discover vulnerabilities, prioritize risk, and facilitate remediation. Through a shared Insight agent, it connects with Insight IDR, their SIM solution, to correlate and analyze this data so IT can respond in real time and respond quickly. These all work within modern IT environments of cloud, hybrid, multi-cloud, and on-premise. You name it and Rapid7 can detect it. Pivoting to CyberArk, let's take this Mandiant quote. It states that 100% of all breaches they investigate utilize stolen credentials in some form. Whenever possible, attackers go after privileged credentials to seek access to sensitive systems and exfiltrate data or whatever the attack may be. Security products often need to utilize privileged credentials to do things such as vulnerability scans. Those credentials are a frequent target of attack and need securing as part of the core security blueprint. CyberArk is laser focused on identity security, which is the basis of our integration with Rapid7. The CyberArk portfolio consists of three pillars. Front and center would be privileged access management. CyberArk was born in this space approximately 20 plus years ago. CyberArk started with on-prem vaulting, growing into an entire SaaS offering to solve the most complex industry use cases. Managing privileged credentials includes rotating passwords and isolating recording and auditing sessions. To the left are the workforce use cases. They start with Endpoint Privilege Manager to lock down local admin accounts on workstations and servers. However, there had always been a pressing need 
to extend many identity use cases to all users, which is where Idaptive comes into play. As we all know, IT's future is in the cloud, which is a highly API, software development-driven world. CyberArk has a full story to address the specific needs around non-human accounts to deliver a proper hybrid environment across all users and systems. Today, we'll be talking about the Privileged Access Management Pillar. Credential protection works when a user tries to access a server, database, or any sensitive system. The user logs into CyberArk using their standard Active Directory username and password. Anytime they connect to a resource, they would have to communicate via CyberArk which provides an automatic, complex, and rotating password, all based on configurable policies. When needing to access an account, you metaphorically click open the vault to get access to servers, mainframes, cloud consoles, network devices, applications, infrastructure, you name it. Again, it rotates passwords, so you get rid of things like default credentials. With check-in and check-out of one-time passwords, security is enhanced depending on risk profiles and internal policies. Privileged session management is a big part of what we do. Let's say you're going to log into an AWS management console. You can do this using your native access methods. And let's say connect launching remote desktop to the AWS. CyberArk brokers the connection through a proxy server to automatically isolate your session. The credential never reaches an endpoint, removing a significant risk on an often targeted machine at a company's weakest point. Attackers commonly seek to gain a foothold starting at the endpoint. All sessions launched are isolated with full recording and monitoring. Anomalous behavior is flagged within CyberArk to suspend or terminate privileged sessions in real time. This automation is critical when prioritizing risk and figuring out security project priority. Privileged access management is at the top of analyst list and CIO security priority. Automation of password management is always part of the conversation as a manual process is costly and prone to mistakes, which CyberArk can easily offload. IT can now focus on bigger and better things. So why does this matter? And specifically, why does this matter with CyberArk and Rapid7? There are common talking points, but there are more targets than ever with a growing attack surface. Attackers are seeking to gain access to your network. A typical outcome is organizations throwing money at tools to solve a use case instead of building a solution to achieve a grander security vision. Besides being expensive, many companies double the work by re-architecting the entire network to get a hodgepodge of point solutions working, requiring writing custom scripts and APIs. Worst of all, is a solution that's not very secure, but gives a false sense of security. When talking about Rapid7 plus CyberArk, there is a better together story that breaks into three themes. The first being awareness. For CyberArk's part, we'll be talking about the core privileged access management solution. Insight VM from Rapid7 discovers assets using a scanning engine. When scanning systems or cloud environments, many different kinds of assets will be discovered and identified. Rapid7 then informs CyberArk of new accounts using a standards-based protocol called SKIM. SKIM is a system for cross-domain identity management using APIs to communicate. These new accounts automatically get added under CyberArk's management. This continuous discovery of new systems, new resources, and new privileged accounts allows companies to get their hands around the most significant IT risk of identity management or really lack of identity management. This issue is common within all dynamic environments, especially as new systems and virtual machines spin up on the fly. Discovering these accounts provides the awareness needed to manage privileged accounts across hybrid environments properly. The idea we see pop up again, you can't secure what you don't know exists. The second theme is assessment. Here, Insight VM is performing the vulnerability scan and performs an asset inventory. For Insight VM to do its job, it needs to use privileged credentials to make necessary connections to all the different systems. Storing privileged accounts within the Insight platform would be a security risk, violating many compliance requirements. To scan securely, Insight VM makes the request to CyberArk for the needed password. 
CyberArk authenticates the Insight VM application granting a key. This will get rotated to further secure the process. Having been granted access, Insight VM scans for vulnerabilities in a highly secure and robust enterprise grade manner. Identifying vulnerabilities reduces the attack surface and solves audit and compliance concerns to keep security projects moving along. With the power of CyberArk and Rapid7, the environment gets scanned for vulnerabilities and privileged credentials are secure and automatically managed. With awareness and assessment under our belt, it's time to take action. To level up our integration story, vulnerability intelligence is automated to trigger actions to protect highly sensitive assets. With the Insight VM and CyberArk Privileged Access Solution integration, CyberArk retrieves scan results from Rapid7 and verifies the defined risk criteria of any asset before granting privileged access to a specific machine. For example, CyberArk could block access to a server with a high risk vulnerability score provided by Rapid7. However, access may be granted to the remediation team to fix the vulnerability. After the team patches the issue, another scan happens, and assuming it receives a low risk score, permissions go back to normal. Streamlining the vulnerability practice with credential management, enhanced remediation processes, improved insight across assets, and vulnerabilities gives security the sophistication seen in a sci-fi movie. Never overlook the power and insight provided through additional information. The ability to automate decisions and effect change is a unique capability shown in this high-level workflow. CyberArk and Insight IDR use syslog forwarding to share information on privileged access. CyberArk queries Active Directory and monitors network traffic for the use of privileged credentials and those sessions activities. If it is determined, I usually log in from a Chicago IP address between the hours of 9 and 6 central time, that becomes a baseline for my normal behavior. If suddenly I'm logging in from a new address in South America at 2 o'clock in the morning, that is odd. An event is tripped and sends a syslog message to Insight IDR Rabbit 7 Sim to take action in real time and stop a potential attack while providing a central location for visibility. The other integration points we discussed already tie back into these actions. To wrap up the CyberArk and Rapid7 integration, please note these are out-of-the-box integrations meant to provide rapid risk mitigation and automated workflows executed across the three themes of awareness to shed light on different devices and systems that require management, assessment of what needs patching and accounts to manage, action for an automated response as vulnerable systems are identified and strange activities occur. Thank you for your time today. To learn more about the CyberArk and Rapid7 integrations, please check out the CyberArk Marketplace or Rapid7 blog on our respective websites.